there, Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I have some next level ATF bullshit for you. Allegedly. In September, some folks at a Montana gun show saw a suspicious man with Canadian license plates driving around in a tinted window, black SUV, super obvious, watching people and taking pictures of other cars. They called the police, and when sheriff's deputies arrived, the man told them he was a Royal Canadian police officer from Lethbridge, Alberta, assigned to a Canadian task force for arms trafficking in conjunction with the ATF. Right. So as a recap, this Canadian police officer was in the U.S. in Great Falls, Montana, about 185 miles from Lethbridge, spying on Americans at an American gun show as part of a Canadian task force for gun smuggling, all while teaming up with the ATF. Well, that's quite a fascinating story. Except there was no ATF officer on site. This guy was at the gun show alone with no one supervising him. The sheriff, Jesse Slaughter, had not been informed about this at all and asked for the name of the ATF agent that the officer was allegedly working with. The Mountie provided the name of ATF agent Craig Howe. But Howe told the sheriff that he didn't need to give anyone any information and no one needed to tell Sheriff Slaughter about the investigation because he's a federal agent and the feds do what they want. Yeah, that checks out. Except that's not really the way that law enforcement chain of command is supposed to work. The feds are supposed to alert local law enforcement of any ongoing investigations in their area for safety reasons. I mean, we wouldn't want a shootout between undercover ATF agents and sheriffs or even local law-abiding citizens, would we? Allegedly. The ATF has refused to speak to the sheriff or any other officials about this. Local news reached out to the ATF and public information officer Crystal McCoy refused to comment and flat out said that no one at the agency would have a single conversation about it. So naturally, someone filed a Freedom of Information request, but even that doesn't give us a whole lot more information. We now know that the Canadian officer is named Richard Carina. We now also know that Howe did tell the sheriff that the task force was, in fact, investigating Americans. They were apparently interested in one particular person at the gun show who was selling firearms, but Howe also told the sheriff that this person of interest was perfectly legal and not a prohibited person. So it doesn't really sound like there's a whole lot there to investigate. Nowhere in this story is mention of either of these officers having a warrant. As Gardner Goldsmith from MRC-TV points out, then there's the fact that both the ATF and these Canadian Mounties were spying on people without warrants. If the Canadians were searching for some fugitive who has crossed the border, the only mechanism for them to get help is to request U.S. police assistance and then ask for extradition if the suspect were caught. Beyond that, nowhere is it mentioned why the ATF couldn't go themselves and just forward the license plate numbers of any Canadians there to the Canadian task force. Were they watching this one American to see if he sold guns to Canadians? Possibly. Nowhere is it explained why they chose to stake out a gun show that specializes in antique and collectible firearms. Are they worried that Americans are smuggling old muzzle loaders to gangbangers in Canada? Slaughter told the officer to leave, and he did. He then later got a call from the ATF saying that both the Canadian officer and the ATF had checked out of their hotel rooms and were on the road. The White House, it seems, has no interest in the fact that a foreign government was on U.S. soil spying on both Canadians and Americans as part of an undercover operation. Or perhaps it's under the White House's orders not to cooperate with the locals. It's largely only local news outlets and alternative media that are covering this story. Sheriff Slaughter has given a couple radio interviews about his experience and has said he's going to be having a sit down with the ATF to try and prevent this sort of thing in the future. Maybe after that sit down, we'll have more information from this administration that is allegedly interested in transparency, but I seriously doubt it. At the end of the day, this story and the lack of information is sketchy as hell. As Sheriff Slaughter himself said, wars have been fought for less. 
That is it for this video. Quick and dirty, guys. You guys know the algorithm drill. Like, share, subscribe, share this video because you guys are the notification because we all know that YouTube isn't doing it. As always, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and happy shooting.